another way of keeping your seat is whatever is arising, rather than it being a good arising. Um, I'm feeling groovy and I'm calm and all is great and I'm in a place of, you know, kind of deep ease. We all like that. But keeping your seat equally when something is arising that's distressing. I'm fearful, I'm angry, I'm critical, I'm bored. Um, I want something else in my life. I don't want to be here. So it's keeping your seat, that open, listening, inclusion of whatever is arising. Now that takes practice. And even identity, because we tend to, when we identify with our reaction to what's arising, then we think we are that identity and that appearance. You hear what I'm trying to say? We totally collapse into it. And now we're that. But through practice, like everything else, you just stay in this open kind of a spacious quality and there's these simple little mantras. I don't have a great memory, so I can't remember all these gorgeous prayers and beautiful Sanskrit mantras. Mine's very simple. Like, um, what's actually happening? What's actually happening? What's true here? Another one is, um, and people see that as kind of you know simple and airy-fairy, but I have found it to be the most potent um, recognition. And that's, I love you. I love you. I love you. No matter how and what is coming up, right? No matter what. And that takes a lot of practice. Because the you know, the tendency is to identify and then whatever you've done to protect yourself, to function in the world. And it actually, at a certain point, comes from wisdom. It's just way past that point. And that point is you, you defend, you project, you want to push away, you want to make you right, you're holding a position. And what if you just simply opened up and I love you. And then let it kind of unfold and inform and, and reveal. Because that's what it actually does. That's what it actually does. But most of us don't stay present. Right? We're bypassing. We're in our spiritual scene. We're in our, you know, righteous scene. We're in our memory scene. We're in our, we're not present. You know, you begin to recognize that probably hmm, 70, sometimes 80% of your life, you're not present. You're in reaction. Um, and it's, it's not true. You're living in this reactive dream, actually. It's a trip when you really just see it in this very austere way. It's just... Um, it's just not true. <laughs>